guys we're back in here for another video so I'm gonna run these guys and let me take some of these out because it's not big enough for all this I'm gonna run these guys I don't run them often so they don't get any love because because they were sending in a case with no chassis so I just forgot about them and I'm gonna run those guys and these two guys Now uh, this car, this has a, uh, right now it has a, uh, I changed it out and put a Jag chassis under it. But there's something wrong on this side of the bike, so it doesn't really stay on very well. So, we gotta make it do what it do. It's an awesome looking car, man. They really did their thing with it. And we have this guy. It's another beauty. So both of these cars, where the GT40 and this one had Mega G Plus chassis, which I sold all except one. One, it was the the one I didn't sell was under my Chevelle, and I just forgot about it because the car I didn't drive because I don't like the Mega G Plus chassis. So some of these cars were just forgotten about. This is another beauty, this Jaguar. I used to have a Castro oil one, and I used to love that car, but I did the dummy move, and I was looking at them one day, I put them on the roof of the car, and I forgot to take the car off the hood of the car. So I drove, and because it was smashed up. That's my downfall. This guy here, this beauty here, I got this, I thinking I bought it from somebody in Japan. It's either Japan or Australia. I was one of the two. Cause I was, for a while I was doing the uh, Scamdemic, the beer, board, beer bug of unknown origin. I was communicating a lot with people in Australia and Japan. And this has a Super G Plus and the Minolta. This one this is not the first one I had. I had one that came with a set. I bought a set from Toys R Us some years back. It's back when I lost the Castro Oil Jaguar. And I really love this car. I took it to my cousin's house to race. He had a Tygo set. 440. I don't remember if it was times two or not. He had a Tyco set. He still had his Tyco set. That was back for a while. The Tycos look better than the AFS. And once they came out with the Super G Plus or the Turbo, AFS took the crown back for better looking cars. Uh, let's the GT on here. Yeah, see the body clip is jacked up. So. Doesn't want to stay on. So. Looks like it's broken or something. It's kind of off a bit. Yeah, it's not fitting in there. I'm gonna play around with it. So I guess he gets sidelined, unfortunately. Let's put this guy on. He's a beauty. Probably one of the best of the cars they ever made. If he can stay on the track. Allen P's 
But I sold them. I don't really, I don't like the look of the newer cars that much. Too. Once they went into cookie cutter mode, I kind of fell off auto racing. I don't know why these guys keep stopping. Probably pick up shoot then. Probably needs an adjustment or something. gentleman in Massachusetts on eBay. I still have one left. Again, like I said, I think I said two of you guys already. It was under my Chevelle body. Which is another car I don't rate because I'm not a fan of the chassis. They're, they're all gone. They sold pretty quick. Same day that I listed. like 70 bucks. I didn't want a lot of money for it. That's still enough to get uh, two two Bulldogs or two Super 7s. Jaguar on it. He doesn't run good over there. up in here somewhere where you can't see the wires on it from under the table. If I do it on here, you can see it. Well, you, you guys are amazing. to Home Depot on the way home from work and stopped today. I stopped at Lowe's on the way up and they didn't have the screws or side screws that I wanted. But I wanted something small to fit in there. I guess you guys could probably see that. And they didn't have anything that I, like wood screws that would fit in there. So I stopped at Ace Hardware and they, for some reason, like you have, you need little knickknacks or something, they have it. Ace Hardware will have that stuff. It runs better than this one. Except for this track here. This thing I don't like about Click Clack. There's always production issues. And Stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to swap this straight out and try to find a better one. My, yeah, I still have the contact all the world about the two crossover tracks with the high rail. They're definitely uh, not usable. Let's get this guy on here. Pretty good. Except for this hell, I gotta slow down for it. This bad habit. Yeah, this is a pretty car. I never, I never seen this one before. As a matter of fact, I'm quite sure I bought this off somebody from uh, Japan. before for uh he was showcasing it. I 
bigger one. There, Nissan also had another race car that I like. They're a GTP car. Yeah, I don't think there was ever a HO scale car for that. It might be a 130 second scale. I gotta look for that. I always love that car. Yeah, I have all my plaster, plaster cloth and all that. So this weekend I'm gonna cover this up, cover the risers with the plaster cloth, put down the road bed with the rail. I want to finish this up. You get in there, this stuff is expensive. I'm working, man. Do a little bit, quite a little bit. We'll get to the dents. Look at that bone slot car garage. And I like how he made uh, this tunnel entrance. So I'm gonna see if I can get a small piece of foam and cut it to fit here and one for here. I still have one Mega G Plus I want to get rid of. And a body, one of the new four GT bodies. I'm not too crazy about them. Just, I don't know what it is, man. It, just, it don't look nowhere near as good as the 132nd scale one. And once I got it in my hand, I didn't like it. I'm gonna get rid of that and buy something else that I like. And let's get the Minolta on here. Hey, I remember my old one, I took it to my cousin's house and I smoked them. So me and I had nothing for this. It came with a Super G Plus. This body, I believe I got this off of eBay with no um, chassis. I just never bought one to put under it. When I, when I bought, when I came in my set, I had white rims. I don't know, I need to look better. The white rims or the black rims? I can't decide. But whatever it gets, definitely gonna be a Super 7 or a Bulldog or something. Very slow. I got a floor right there. I've been doing it. Right now. And I'm going to run this guy. This had a Mega G Plus 100. So I swapped it out with a Jag. This is the GT version. Uh, let me see if it looks any faster than the other one. Just for the heck of it. I 
It's like a what five dollar difference. Let's check it out. That was uh, pretty fast there. Some of them lose. Yeah, there's a broken track over here, so I definitely have to replace this. Yeah, that's the disadvantage with the title. The track clips don't work on title track. Yeah, it is, is kind of fast. Playing around with droid cam. The problem with your droid cam software, it's good for like we're gonna do a gonna about a streaming live and I want to use OBS where I can still see the chat because I have my laptop where I'm pointing. I can still see the chat and I can respond. You know, you could go live with your phone. But you can't see any, you know. If I use my phone, then it's gonna be on a tripod and I can't see anything. But if I did Droid Cam, I could broadcast to the laptop and you know through OBS and I could see chat so I could respond when you guys are saying something. Unfortunately, it does not work with StreamYards. That's what I was uh, hoping, but I looked it up. It doesn't work with StreamYard. That's a dead issue. That way, you know, more than one people can person can jump in, and we can broadcast together and all that. Maybe in the future I'll have a plugin for StreamYard. And broadcast that. Right now I'm doing a two camera thing. Um, the main reason why I don't use, like right now I'm not going to use, or I'm not using Droid Cam is the resolution. The resolution doesn't go beyond 1080p. I think it might be 1080p. It might even be 720. I was. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a video just so you can see what I'm talking about. Did some video and when you put the cars up close to the camera, it's kind of blurry. It's not gonna work. You could use a Super 7 on one of these because there is a second wheel position or axle position that you could that is 1.7 put this one on here Heavy or something. Yeah, I really like this one. Put that uh, other uh, Set 4 GT up for sale. Let me get rid of that. 
But there's two of them. I have one on the card. I bought two because I like the way it looked on on the screen. And once, again, once I got it in my hand, I wasn't happy with it. So I'm gonna sell both of those from my eBay. I made like 50 bucks or something. Share, subscribe, and I'll see you fellas in the next video.